Hi, it's Nikki with So You Bic, and today I'm going to show you, I'm going to record a video in various parts. So this first part, I'm going to show you how to add the trimming onto your traditional book. So um, I typically will only trim the cuffs, my pocket, and... The bottom of my fuss book. So I am going to, in this first video, I'm going to show you how I do my trimming for my cuffs, pocket, and the bottom of the fuss book. So I like to use this extra wide double fold bias tape. Um, I've just always used that. And so I've got my thread changed. And so now I'm just going to start trimming. Um, here I've got oops, my pocket liner and my pocket. So I'm only trimming my pocket here and then I will sew it to the lining. So I'm just going to get started. I use a quarter inch seam and I do my cuffs. You want to make sure I've got everything iron crease in a nice half so that I can, when I line it onto my sleeves it's ready so you open up your cuff and then you just kind of place it there with a little edging off and what I like to do is I like to do I keep mine kind of simple so I'm just gonna sew on the top and the bottom of this sewing pins um, I just kind of eyeball so if you are a pinner you are more than welcome to pin this better better angle there we go okay and then I'm just gonna do one more and so, like I said, I just kind of eyeball it. If you want a pin, go for it. one cuff done. Set that aside. I'm going to do the other one now. to get more fancy you could you could do a decorative stitch here in the center um, you could pair it with another different color bias tape and that way you could kind of play with them I don't know if you can see you can play with them here you can double them up um, you can kind of do whatever you would like to I just like to keep mine kind of simple You could do single bias tape. You can make your own bias tape. You don't have to do trimming.
done. So I've got two cuffs. Now I'm gonna do my pocket. And I like to keep this pretty simple too. So I will just run two of these going down. So, and I don't pin, I just kinda eyeball. I like to sew on the inside, the, the curviest part first, and then work on work to the other side. Um, your bobbin thread color doesn't matter right now. Um, it will matter when you are sewing, say, the bias on the bottom of your cusp up. So, but for now, it's okay. That just stitched barely anything. just a little tail on both sides. side now I'm going to work on the other side and when I work on the other side I will start from this way
got my pocket trimmed. I'm gonna sew my pocket liner and my pocket together. And the reason I like to line my pockets is because I don't like to iron a bunch. So, if you've watched in my video, you'll see that I like to leave my pocket liner just a little bit bigger, so I only have to throw a few pins in. Then I'm gonna leave an opening here. I don't do it in the center, I don't do it on the side or the top or along the curve, but I leave a little opening here on the bottom. using a quarter inch seam. backstitch and backstitch. So now then I'll just trim this off. At the corners I cut a little diagonal just so you can push the corners out easier. Then you're just going to birth it through that hole. And I will just use my fingers and push these corners out. You can use a chapstick or edge of a pen, pencil. You just push all these corners out. And then you take it to the iron and you iron it nice and flat and then in a good iron crease. And you wanna make sure that you iron the little opening nice and flat. So my opening would be here. So that would be the next step. With that, but your pocket is ready to go. And then I will do the bottom of my bus look. So, I will just do one, and what I do is you're going to open your bus book, and on the inside, or the wrong side, you are going to take, and bias tape has I don't know, a short side and a long side, so you can't really tell, but you're going to take an open, you can't really see, but this would be the short side, and you're going to open it all the way up and you're gonna sew it down all along the edge, and I leave a little tail. So I also show this in my modern bus book video as well. And I just match, let's see if I can show you. I match the edge of the foot with the edge of the bias and the edge of the cotton material.
gonna do a top stitch here. This is where you would want the maroon bias, but or the maroon bobbin, but I've got black in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and top stitch. And like I said, if you were gonna do, you could also hide in another color in here. This is where you would hide it in. Um, or you would hide your bias or piping or rickrack. <clears throat> Time, I'm just going to show you one, but that is how you would do. You will do this also on the back. So, um, like I said, I don't trim. I don't put trimming on my hoods. I kind of leave them simple. So, you've got your trimming on the bottom of your gospel, on your pocket, and then your two cuffs. So. The next video, I'm gonna show you how to um, assemble your cuffs and your sleeves, um, put your pocket onto the body, and then putting the sleeves onto the body. Um, and then the last video, I'll show you how to cut and do your hood. So stay tuned.